What's up, everyone? Blitzball champ Jason Ingram is back here on the U to the Tube with just a, just kind of a gaming talk video I wanted to do. So, this is mainly going to be focused and centered on the recent announcement of Street Fighter VI. Let's talk Street Fighter. So, saw that little speck of a teaser. Of course, they had Ryu, they had Luke, all pimped out and decked out with the 3D goodness. And Street Fighter VI announced more news about Street Fighter VI this summer. Yeah, um, not to mention it's using, uh, <laughs> it's using a supposed knockoff Adobe type logo, which if you ask me, the logo for Street Fighter VI really kind of resembles the Sleeping Dogs logo, if you ask me. I mean, just, just look at it. Look at it. Doesn't that, doesn't that remind you of the Sleeping Dogs logo? I'm just, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I mean, that same shape, that what, what, hexagon, octagon, hexagon, like, same shape, same color, it looks pretty much like the Sleeping Dogs logo. For those that have Sleeping Dogs, look, look, look it up, look it up, it looks, it looks just, just like the Sleeping Dogs logo. So, yeah, I can tell you right now, I'm not going to get my hopes up. After how Street Fighter V was, I'm not going to get my hopes up. And, you know, that might mean that I actually won't end up doing a day one purchase. It's very possible that I won't do a day one purchase of this game. Because I did that for Street Fighter V and oh my goodness. it The journey of Street Fighter V even up to now has not been a great journey. So it doesn't really give me a lot of hope for Street Fighter VI, but we'll see what kind of news that they release this summer. You know, what kind of features get announced, if we're going to even get a speck of a gameplay teaser, more characters teaser or whatnot, but yeah, I mean, I know a lot of folks were thinking um, after CPT it was either going to be Street Fighter or maybe even Resident Evil. But Street Fighter, I felt like, was the easy answer. But, I mean, yay, Street Fighter Six is happening. But it's like, I can't say that I'm super excited. I can't say I'm super excited. Like, I really don't even play much Street Fighter Five unless it's with friends. Like, if I'm over at a friend's house or just, you know, online with some friends and they just happen to want to play Street Fighter V and they're like, hey, Blitzball, hey, Jay, you want, want to play some Street Fighter V? Sure, I'll play, but I'm not going to, like, willingly, just randomly play Street Fighter V. Like, I got the DLC and everything. You know, when the characters came out, you know what I did? I popped it in. Played with the DLC character, went through the story mode, done. And I just put it down. That's really how much I didn't care for Street Fighter V. And as folks get to know me, folks will learn that my big three when it comes to Street Fighter, Street Fighter Alpha 3, Street Fighter 3 Third Strike, Street Fighter 4. Those are my big three. When it comes to Street Fighter games. Always have been. And unless. 
things change or things get better, then those those big three will always be my big three when it comes to Street Fighter. Alpha three, third strike, and four. And I definitely doubt that Street Fighter VI will end up replacing any of my big three. Because I know dang on well, Street Fighter V definitely doesn't replace any of my big three. So, yeah. What do y'all think? Are y'all excited for Street Fighter VI? I mean, like, honestly, are y'all excited, excited, like, oh! or... Are you optimistic? Are you, you know, are you not going to hold your breath? Are you going to reserve judgment? Are you neutral? Like, how do y'all feel? Me personally, I mean, it's nice that it's announced, you know, it's it's a thing, but I'm not going to get my hopes up. I'm going to tread very carefully with Street Fighter VI. Very carefully. And then another thing I wanted to throw in there, they also announced Capcom Fighting Collection, which is coming June 24th. Steam, PS4, Xbox One, Nintendo Switch. The games that are on there, let's see. You got Red Earth, so it's 10 games. Red Earth, you got Cyberbots Full Metal Madness, you got Darkstalkers, the Night Warriors. You got Night Warriors, uh, Darkstalkers Revenge. You got Vampire Savior 1. You got Vampire, Vampire Hunter 2. And you have Vampire Saver, Savior 2. Vampire Savior 2. You have Hyper Street Fighter 2, the Anniversary Edition. You have... Super Gem Fighter Mini Mix. And you have Super Puzzle Fighter 2 Turbo. Those are the 10 games in this Capcom Fighting Collection. To be honest with y'all, you know what you know what I think this really says? I mean, think about it. You got one, two, three, four, five. Darkstalkers games in this in this collection. Five. You know what this tells me? This tells me that Capcom is saying, how bad do y'all really want a new Darkstalkers game? How bad do you really want one? You do? Buy this Capcom fighting collection and prove and show how much you want Darkstalkers. Because honestly, I feel like that's the only way that might even give them even a speck of incentive of seriously considering a brand new Darkstalkers game. Because honestly, I, I don't think it's going to happen. I really don't think it's going to happen unless there's some sort of big, ginormous incentive or they're given enough of a reason. Maybe this could be that test with Capcom Fighting Collection, but, I mean, on the real, I just, that's that's the way I look at, at the announcement for this, this collection, is, hey, how much do you really love and want a new Darkstalkers game? Well, prove it. Buy this collection. There's five Darkstalkers games in there. How many of y'all will really support this? And maybe that will give the incentive to really take making a new Darkstalkers game seriously. Because honestly, I don't think it's going to happen. Period. I hope I'm wrong, but I don't think it's going to happen. But that's pretty much all I have to say about this. Like I said, I, I love Street Fighter, but with the direction Street Fighter has gone since uh, 5... It's just really been downhill for me to the point where it's like, if I really want to enjoy Street Fighter, I'll play one of the one of my big three, Alpha Three, Third Strike, and Four, which I still have fun playing those to this day, but I just I don't get any fun or excitement playing.
playing Street Fighter V unless I'm playing with friends. So, that's just my take on it. But let me know what y'all think. What y'all think about Street Fighter VI? What do y'all think about this Capcom fighting collection? Are you planning on getting it? Are you interested in it? Um, how many fans out there are Darkstalkers fans? Let me know what y'all's thoughts on this. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Thank you so much for watching. Hope everybody has a blessed day tomorrow. This is Blitzball Champ Jason Ingram signing off. Catch up with y'all later.